Grid Tutorials. This is the sixth video in our series and it's the final one that we're going to be doing on Essential Grid and setting it up for your WordPress site. My name is Sarah Oates from Endure Web Studios and so far in this series we've looked at installing, registering, getting a um, grid set up, particularly for blog posts. And now what we're going to look at is changing shifts in gear and we're going to have a look at how can you make a light box kind of grid. So this is an example here where we've got a portfolio of someone's and instead of linking to blog posts, this is just linking to images. And when you click on it, it's going to bring up a light, light box, which you can then scroll through with the keyboard or equally with the mouse. Um, so we're going to show you how you can do those things. There, we won't go through the whole customization, so if you're wanting to do it, you can get it set up here and then if you're wanting to edit the skin or you're wanting to add navigation then you can go back to one of our other videos and have a look at those ones. Alright, so let's head into the back end and we're going to give it a go. So in Essential Grid you make yourself a new grid, give it a name and then you need to click on Source. So ordinarily we were looking before at how you would add it as a post, page or project and then you do it with the categories. For this one, it's a little bit more fiddly. It's definitely more work, but I think it's a really nice outcome that you can get with it. So you click on Custom Grid. And from here, you can add images, or you can add YouTubes or Vimeo, or any of these other things, and you can make a grid based on those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the images. So basically you add every individual image and then if you're wanting to do filtering, then you need to actually give them each individually um, their own categories or filter. So once you click on images, you get the option of single or bulk. So we're going to click on bulk. And it's going to bring up your entire media library or else you can upload images straight from here. So from here, we're just going to grab a few images. I click shift by doing that first one and then shift and then click on the last one. And now we'll just bring in those images. Obviously you could bring your entire library in, but we're just going to do a few for, um, to be able to show you. And so there are your images. So again, like the other ones, you can change the skins, um, you can change the settings so it shows how many. Go back to our other videos and we can show you how to do all of those things. But for now, the only other thing I need to show you now that you've got your images in there is if you want to do filtering. If you want to do filtering, it's already set up for you. All you need to do is click on the edit button on each of the individual images and add the filter. So you might add weddings, rides to this one, click save. It's a very annoying process because it refreshes the page and then you have to start all over again. Now we go to the second one and we'll come down here and say brides flowers. As you can see, I've already practiced this. All right, I'm going to do one final one, which we will say weddings, flowers, and say save. Now, obviously, those images won't actually to do with that. Oh, the other thing I can show you is that you can actually move images around. So once you bring them in here, um, you might want to move some of these images around. So you can just click on these arrows and drag them around or else you can click on that button and say, I want it to go after number 20, and it's gonna go right to the end of our um, images. You can duplicate, you can edit the element, which is just those details that we did there, and you can delete them, obviously. Then you click on save. Now, I would be suggesting that you'd wanna edit the, um, the hover effects on these because obviously you don't really want it to show up that title. Well, maybe you do, but I wouldn't particularly. All right, but go back to one of our other videos to see how to do that. All right, so let's have a look and see how it went. So all we're doing is refreshing this page. I already had that grid set up on this page. And now when you come in here, they're all ready to go. And you can see that when we click on those, we're gonna see those couple of images that we gave the filters to. So the only things that you need to know in the back end in terms of making those filters work, you don't need to muck around with the filter sections itself, except you need it to have filter in here. If that isn't there, then the filter just won't function. But if the filter, if you drag it in, you can have it below if you want to. Um, but if you don't have that there, then the filter 
simply won't show up. The other thing that you need to know about is at the moment when we go into our test grid, when you click on an image here, you don't get an option to click through to the other images. And I think that that's one of the things that is nice and very helpful when you're looking at one of these pages. So what you need to do is come and click on light box. And you don't need to muck around with too many of these things, but at the moment it says single mode. So what you want to do is go to all items. And then click save. And over we go again. Obviously there's other features that you can have a look at. But this is the main thing we want to look at. And now we can scroll through all of the photos. So now you can make your very own light box and be able to filter through them, um, filter down into some of the images and also click onto the light box and start to click through. I hope this has been useful. Go back into our other videos if there's missing elements um, because they may be relevant to you and let us know if we haven't covered something. I hope that this series has been useful for you um, and I hope that you get a lot of fun out of using Essential Grid. I'm really enjoying the plugin. I think it's pretty amazing what you can do with it and I think you can bring your page really to life by making a few little tweaks here and there. So good luck with it. Have a lot of fun and let us know how you go.